sometimes there are just so many things at home that needs to get done and get organized and get decluttered. But remember, Rome was not built in a day and neither was your clutter. I'm a big advocate for breaking the cluttering up into smaller, manageable pieces. First, to ensure that you don't get overwhelmed And secondly, to be able to finish what you have started. So instead of tackling your entire house at once and most probably creating a monstrous disaster, tackle one project at a time. And then when you are done, move to the next project and the next. And that is the way to make sure success of your decluttering efforts. You can divide your home into, for example, the kitchen, the living room, the dining room, bedroom, bathroom, etc. And If that still feels a bit overwhelming, why not break it up into even smaller pieces? For example, the bedroom you can divide into the bed, under the bed, top of the dresser, dresser drawer number one, drawer number two, drawer number three, etc. And then you start with one piece and you work your way through until you are done. But always remember to finish the section that you are busy with first before you move on to the next section. Today's project is the coat closet, and you should be able to finish this one in one afternoon. Thanks again for joining me today. Please like my page if you're on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, or subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also remember, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and please share it with your friends and your family so that it can help them too. So the big question is, aren't a woman like us who are wearing so many different hats each day and who don't cheat by looking like we have everything under control, take back our homes and life, free from the chains of clutter. How do we simplify, get started, get unstuck, let things go and create more time so that we can truly focus on what is essential for a happy and healthy life with our loved ones? That is the question and this show will give you the answers. My name is Lizal Tenton, and welcome to the Vanilla Essence Show. So let's look at how to declutter and organize your coat closet. Most of the time, the coat closet is in the entryway of our homes, and it is quite visible. So decluttering and sorting this area can make a huge, immediate difference to the look and the feel of your home. Remember here, less is definitely more, so be very strict with what will stay in the coat closet and what will go. Now first make sure that you have everything ready that you might need for this task. A box for the goods that you want to donate, a trash can for the garbage, a box for the items that will find a new home somewhere else, a notepad and a pen for making some notes and also cleaning supplies and maybe a vacuum cleaner. Now you're ready. Take everything out of your coat closet and place it on a flat surface where you can sort it from. Now the dining room table or even a blanket on the floor can work really well for this. Now while you have the chance and the coat closet is empty, give it a good clean from the top to the bottom. Just remember to allow some time for the area to dry before you start putting back stuff into the closet. Next determine what will stay in the coat closet. For example, the gear for the current season, sports equipment, wellies, umbrellas, hats and gloves. And put all of these items to one side. We will get back to those items a little bit later. Then throw everything that needs to find a new home together in one box. And go and put the stuff away right now. Get it out of your way, out of your sight. And it is so important that each item in your home has a designated place where it belongs and where it can be put back after it was used. So if anything, do not have such a place. Find one now. This will just ensure that it does not end up in your coat closet again. Then next, put everything that you're going to donate into another box and take that box and go and put it on the back seat of your car to deliver to a charity shop the next day or as soon as as possible. Now that you've done this, take a look at the items that you have decided to keep and that needs to go back into the coat closet. Make sure that what goes back into the closet really belongs there and that it is items that you do need in that space. And before you start packing the items back into the coat closet, give some thought to how they will all fit in there. Maybe you might need some hooks or shelves or baskets or racks. 
make a list as you have a look and think about this. Now, always first scout your house for boxes or baskets or containers that you can use before you run out to the shops to go and buy some more stuff. So now that you've decided how you want to pack the items and you got what you need, start putting everything back into the closet. And there you have it. Well done. Thanks again for joining me today. Please like my page on Facebook, follow me on Instagram or subscribe to my YouTube channel. But first, Hit that like button. If you enjoyed this video, it means a lot to me and share it with your friends and your family so that it can help them too.